This is so important. This is so, so, so important, guys. Please take the Ten Commandments seriously. Okay? All right. I'm going to say the Ten... I'm going to repeat the Ten Commandments. I'm going to read it from the Bible. I am the Lord thy God, that which has brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Right? Thou shalt not have any other gods besides me. Thou shalt not take thou shalt not make thee any graven any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Do not make graven images about anything that's in heaven. Anything that's in heaven, anything on earth or anything below or anything in the waters. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. Thou shalt not have any other gods besides me. Thou shalt not make them, make thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heavens above or that is on the earth beneath or is in the waters beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself upon them nor serve them. For I, the Lord, I, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting iniquity of the fathers upon the children of the third and fourth generation that are them that hate me. Okay. Thou shalt not take the Lord God. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Thou shalt keep holy the Sabbath day. Thou shalt. Uh, they shall. Uh, sorry. They, they shall honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt. Ke the, uh, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's property. Right. Okay. The first two commandments and the third one I'm going to talk about. I'm really going to focus on that the, the graven image thing, the graven image thing, you guys. This is he's so serious when he made these ten commandments. This is exactly. I know it doesn't make sense to you when you read it. Why can't I? Why can't I put things all of, of? Why can't I put Jesus and Mary all over my room and angels? Why can't I pray to them? Why can't I bow down in front of these statues and think I'm ju just thinking talking to Jesus? Why can't I keep, can, why can't I put animals up? Why can't I put flowers up? All right? These are things of that, are, these are just examples of things that are in, the, above the earth, on the earth, and below the earth. Okay? Obviously, you should not be putting snakes and stuff, but <laughs> anyway. <sighs> okay. You guys, this is serious. Okay? <sighs> this, I'm gonna, first I'm going to talk about, I'm going to get the Florida Lee out of the way. What's the fleur de lis? This is a, just a flower, right? Innocent. No. What does fleur de lis mean? Flower, fleur de lis means flower of the devil. Okay? I know you guys think this is crazy, but this is serious. I'm so serious about this stuff. The devil, he is so sneaky. Please stop thinking he's going to be so obvious coming to you with horns and being like, sell your soul to me. No, you are, you're already his. Trust me. Unless you, you guys, oh. Okay. The fleur de lis. Okay, this thing is on all our furniture. This thing is on everything. It's on all. On, it's on all our shirts. If you ever see like twirly flower things on anything, this is the florally. It literally means the flower of the devil. I'll have a whole other video on this thing. I'll post on this thing later. This thing is a curse. It. It's like writing. It's like literally. It's. I want you to think of this thing as writing a pentagram on your floor and on your furniture. It's the same thing, okay? You guys are cursing your house when you put this inside your house. I'm not kidding, okay? Um, uh, the Spaniards use this on their shields, and the Mayans use this on um, on their on their decorations because the devil told them to do it, okay? And we have been tricked. We have been so tricked, you guys. I'll get into this, but this is an example why you're not supposed to have even have flowers up. He, the devil will use these things that seem innocent and trick you. I'm not kidding. When he says this stuff, thou shalt not make any graven images of anything on your house or anything. He's serious. I'm going to try to explain why. Okay, why, about, why, why can't I have things about heaven then? I love God. You guys, when you do this stuff, I know you think you're just looking at a picture. No, you're putting this stuff in your mind. And you're giving your worship to, you're giving your, your like, you're giving your energy to these things. Okay, you're giving your energy to these, these demonic uh, images. Okay. Why can't I have Mary and Jesus and angels? You guys, this is exactly why I said not to do it. Okay. This image isn't Mary. We, the cat, like the church made it, makes it look like it's Mary, right? 
Mary and her baby. No, these are demonic beings. They were, these are demonic beings. They're being tricked when you put these things in your house. This is Isis and this is Horus. Okay? These are these came even before Jesus was born. These were demons. These are demonic entities. Okay, that we've been worshiping since the beginning. And we still are because we keep putting these up in our houses. Okay? The Catholic Church keeps putting this up in their houses. Please stop doing it. Okay? Please, please. You are literally putting up statues of demonic entities and you're praying to them. Like, really? That's why it says do not bow down to these things. Stop it. Please stop it. Okay, and Je this, why not Jesus then? Jesus is innocent. You guys, this, Jesus doesn't even look like this. You're putting images up of, of this Zeus. He's a demonic being. Okay, he's a demonic being. Okay, he, the devil's tricking you. He's, he'll use things out of the Bible to trick you to put up his demons up in your house. Literally, he's tricking you. That's why God, he doesn't want you to have an image of him because the devil, he knows that the devil's just going to use it against you and you're not going to know. That's why he just said not to do any of it. You're not going to know. I'm going to go back into the superheroes because this is so important. Native American people, you think that skinwalkers are just an, uh, you guys think skinwalker, I, mean, I know you're not supposed to say it out loud, but that's not why exactly you guys need to wake up. Everyone does. Okay. You're not, you're right. You're absolutely not supposed to put. You're just not supposed to talk, even talk about skinwalkers. Absolutely not. But superheroes are skinwalkers, guys. You guys, when you watch them on TV and you put posters up in your room and you're watching them, you're just, it's the same thing. It's so bad. It's so bad. Please stop watching superhero movies. Um, I, you know, these half-human, half, human, half um, animal things that have been here since the beginning of time are skinwalkers. The same thing. They're the same demonic being as skinwalkers. Same thing. And they're not a myth. They're real. Look. This is a museum in Cairo. They found a, a, a skeleton of a real half-human, half-cat being. This is a bones of a skinwalker, you guys. And you guys, and the devil wants everyone to think that skinwalkers are just a Native American thing. They've been here, and we still worship them. They've been here this whole time, and we are still worshiping them. Do you guys understand how evil that is? Stop putting, getting tattoos of superheroes on your body. It's the same thing as putting skinwalkers on your body. I'm not, I'm trying to relate that to everybody and to the Native American people, okay? Please listen to me. The devil, he is so, so sneaky, okay? There's skin, we, <laughs> skinwalkers are all over the place, not just in the Native American people. It's a demonic entity. It really is a demonic entity. These superheroes that turn into half half animal, half humans, and they're normal during the day, and they shed their they shed their skins. Same, 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 same thing. Same demonic entities. Okay, we keep falling for them. We keep falling for it. Like Desiree, you're crazy. Superheroes aren't skinwalkers. Yes, they are. Do you ever notice that skinwalkers run really fast and like they have all these powers, and so do superheroes? Do you guys get how sneaky the devil is? He's tricking us. He's tricking us and tricking us and tricking us with the same thing since the beginning of time. All these Greek gods are the same thing as this. They just, the devil just keeps changing their names. And we're just like, okay, cool. No, you guys, we keep doing it. We keep falling for it, okay? So when Jesus, when God said this, he was trying to warn you not to do these, do not put these things. He's serious. You guys do not understand he said these things because he's trying to protect you from these things. He's trying to protect you, okay? He's trying to protect you. He's not trying to be bossy and mean. He's desperately trying to protect you from these things. He knows you don't understand this stuff. He knows you don't understand how sneaky the devil is. If you had just listened to him, we wouldn't be in this mess, you guys. We wouldn't be in this mess. He's not kidding about these Ten Commandments. He's not kidding, okay? This isn't old. This applies especially to us today, all right? Yeah, and uh, the Sabbath day. First of all, this is a touchy one, you guys. I personally think the Sabbath day is on Saturday. Uh, Constantine changed it to Sunday, and so we've just been sticking to Sunday. But and uh, but am, am I gonna am I saying that God's gonna send you to hell because you picked the wrong day? No, but I'm just trying to tell you how sneaky the devil is. Okay, he's sneaky. Okay, you guys try to go to church. Take a whole day. You should do it every day, but take a whole day and just. Um, and Jesus said, um, he does want you to have fellowship. Jesus said, when one, when, or, when one or two of you are together, there I am. He wants you to go be with other people who believe in him. 
Yeah, for like a whole day, at least, okay? <laughs> a whole day. For one whole day. If, if, is he gonna, if you pick the wrong days, you're gonna be punished? No, but I do believe it's on Saturday, okay? I'm just gonna throw that out there. But that's my point, okay? Yes, take, the Sabbath day thing is serious, too. He want, you, Jesus wants you to be with people who believe in him. It's, like, really good for you, okay? <sighs> Obviously, you should not kill. You guys, you think that you're not physically not sinning when you're not killing somebody. Jesus said you are killing somebody in your heart when you just think something bad about someone. That is a, still a sin. It's still a sin. Do you see how evil we are? No, everybody does that. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You. I know that the Catholic, like the Catholic Church teaches you're not sinning until you actually physically do it. No. That is not what the Bible says. That's not what Jesus said at all. Please read the Bible. Trust the word of God over what you've been taught at any of these institutions okay please it's a trick okay it's a trick okay um <sighs> please re you guys have to really try to get away from your sin these sins okay and actually try that's what jesus is saying you have to really try to put these things away and repent and he and just if you really tr follow what jesus said and read the bible it, it will be a lot easier okay idols are anything Idols are anything, you guys. Do not put any gods before him. Idols can be anything, even if it seems innocent. Even if you're just picking up trash all day, okay? God, even if you're, it seems, the devil comes, uh, the, the Bible constantly warns you the devil comes to you as a being of light. He doesn't care what you're doing. As long as you're not fo focusing on Jesus, you're, you're his. You're his. If you're an atheist, you're his, you guys. You're his. You're, you're, you, you guys have to believe in Jesus to go to heaven, Everyone else just goes to hell by default if you don't believe in Jesus. Do you get it? Okay, I'm trying. I'm tr this is real. Hell is real. Everyone ends up there. Most people end up there because they don't they don't pay attention to the Bible anymore. And it's that's exactly how they end up there. They think this thing is old and it doesn't apply to them. It absolutely does, especially to us today. Okay, please trust the word of God over things you, you're used to. Please trust the word of God. And like the devil makes you think that the... The Bible is for white people. The Bible, Jesus wasn't even white. The Bible didn't land in America. Okay, do you see how tricky he is? He wants you to think this Bible, it's, the Bible is not, it's not for a race. It's for everyone, okay? It's not for a, a piece of land. It's for everyone. It's not for a bloodline. It's for everyone, okay? Please stop putting things up and things up in your house. God is trying to warn you. He's warning us again and again, and we don't listen to him. And we wonder why everything, you get so obsessed with TV shows and stuff. You guys are literally, do you know why you're so obsessed with these TV shows? Because you are you keep, it's an energy. It's a constant flow of energy you have between these, between like um the devil, the tricks of the demonic realm. You get so obsessed with these TV shows, and you get, keep it, dig it and you're so obsessed with like praying the rosary and stuff because you're literally being tricked into doing it. You keep giving energy to like a demonic entity, literally. Literally, 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 you keep giving energy to Domana Entity. And I know that feels good at the time. I know you think playing video games and watching TV today makes you feel good. But are you? You're depressed, right? You guys, there's something wrong. God um, wrote, wrote the proof of him in our hearts. He gave you a conscience. He gave you a conscience. And you guys have, he's like, hello, he's trying to knock in. He's knocking on your door like, come on, let me in. You guys, please stop being fooled by these things like, over and over again please okay this stuff is real it's not fake it's not a myth this stuff is real skinwalkers are real guys they really are I, I and you know you're not supposed to say it out loud so stop worshiping them still this these superheroes are the same thing okay that's just an example of how tricky that that the, 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 the enemy is get it okay please please read the bible please Please, hell is real, guys. It's I'm trying to explain how everyone ends up there. They don't know. And God says he He knows that you don't know. He knows that you're confused. If you read the Bible and just trust in him, he can help you through this. He can get you through the wilderness. Okay? Get out of Egypt. Get out of Egypt. Get out of Egypt, guys. Okay? Please get out of this. the same deceptions we keep get, getting into. If just because you don't know this stuff does not, it's not gonna, your ignorance isn't gonna save you. It's gonna put you down. The devil wants you dumb. 
The devil wants us dumb on our phones, dumb, not looking the stuff up, not believing the word of God. He loves it. He loves when you get stuck stuck in your traditions. He loves it when you get stuck. You just raised in a certain church and you just stay there, right? Because you think that's what I, that's what everyone else is doing, so I'm gonna do it. Please no. I'm begging you guys. Please read the Bible and try it. Try to try to pray to Jesus and see what happens. It's amazing. It will. It will. He's really there. He's waiting for you to come to him. He can't force you to try to. He can't. He respects your free will. He doesn't force you. Okay. But he really is there. So please think about this stuff, all right? <sighs> so the, the Ten Commandments, yeah. I kind of got off on the track, but this is serious. This, this command right here is where every, everyone falls under the idols, man. You think you're not worshiping something else, and you are. Every Anything you do is an idol. It's an idol. I'm not bowing down in front of it. Sitting in front of the TV all day is an idol, guys. It's the same thing, okay? Please wake up. Please, please, please. I wanted to add the Lord's name in vain too. That is, this is, this is that serious. You guys, I know you think these rules are just old because everyone else is just doing this stuff all the time now. It's not. That's how. That's how bad things are getting. That's the point. Okay, you, you guys don't realize you will be punished for every time if you don't repent and like really suck Jesus and try to change. Every single time you said OMG, you will be like burnt. You will be punished every single time. It's not, this is not a joke, guys. This is serious. This stuff really will happen to you down there, okay? Um, these rules are not old. Just, you guys think just because everyone's becoming more evil that he's becoming more lenient and he's not. You guys, because you guys don't understand, you're still, you're st <laughs> these rules still apply to us. No one, just because no one's following them anymore, it does not mean he's getting more lenient at all. It's, he's not. You guys, because you, just, just because you don't understand, he's not becoming more lenient. It's, you, because you don't understand what you're doing, okay? He says, trust not on your own understanding. You, anyway, the Lord's name in vain. You guys, this, that's serious. The, in the Old Testament, the Lord's name in vain was punishable by death back then. And it should still be, but uh, obviously you can't just start killing people who say OMG or you know what I mean. Um, it's very, you, 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 Jesus' name and God's name should not just roll off your tongue like it doesn't mean anything. The devil loves it. He de um, the devil loves it. He loves it so when you say, oh, God. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to say it, but you guys don't realize how evil that is. I know you don't, but you, do, you guys have to stop doing it. You guys don't get it. You, it's like, it's so disrespectful and so, it's so horrible that you do that. You guys don't understand how holy he is. And when you do that. It's like saying excre excrement, okay? It's like uh, it shouldn't roll off your God's name and Jesus' name shouldn't roll off your tongue like a curse word. It should not. You're, it, you're literally, it's so, it, you will be punished if you don't stop it, okay? P seriously. When you get, when something bad happens and you say, like, you know, Jesus' name, like, oh, oh you know what I mean? The devil has put that into our society because everyone says everyone's doing it, right? When something bad happens, or if you drop like a plate, or if you stub your toe, you say, "Oh, gee, you know what I mean?" You're cursing Jesus like every time you do that, and it's so evil. You guys don't get it. You know, it's just it's like something that rolls off your tongue. Stop! Don't let it. Stop! Try to stop it. Don't let it roll off your tongue like that. It's something that's like ingrained in you from society, right? Please stop it. Okay, it's serious. You will be punished for every single time you've done it. Every single time. Reap, you will reap what you sow. Every time one of these Ten Commandments were not were not uh, followed, okay? And I know it seems hard. I know it seems like a lot of rules. If you, like Jesus, when you, when you try to accept Jesus and try to follow him in the Bible, this stuff becomes easy. He helps you. He really does. He do, I don't cuss anymore. I don't say that stuff. I, naturally, he do, it doesn't even enter my brain to cuss and take the Lord's name in vain. It really doesn't. I, you, and I'm naturally more aware of it now, okay? So please take these, this stuff seriously, okay? All right, thank you.